Hey all, welcome back to my channel, Rebecca Zung here. And today we're gonna to be talking about narcissists and their motivations and what makes them tick and why do you wanna know this? When you're going to negotiate with them, when you're dealing with them on a day-to-day -day basis, you can get inside of their brains and you can start going on the offensive instead of being on the defensive. You can actually start feeling like you are the powerful ones. You are the ones in control for a change. And believe me, I have been where you are. I've been feeling like I'm going crazy. I've been the one who feels powerless. I've been, you know, up at night feeling like, what the hell? How can I get to where I want to go. And this is, you know, after I've had a law practice, this is after I have dealt with all sorts of narcissists or high conflict personalities in my life. So I don't want any of you to ever feel like that ever again. I want you to know what their motivations are. I want you to know what makes them tick so that by the end of this video, you are going to understand inside the brain of a high conflict personality, you know, a narcissist, whether it's your mom or your dad or your sister, or your brother or your boss or that colleague at work that's driving you insane. I want you to understand that. Okay. So if you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you're here because we're building a community. We're building an army of people who are empaths, who are rising up. What is the psyche of these people? And by the way, if you haven't subscribed, I invite you to do that now because we're here to help empower you and help you on your journey and feel like you're supported. So how do they tick? What makes them tick? What motivates them? Well, Obviously, a lot of you have heard of the concept of supply, narcissistic supply. It's this deep, dark hole that's inside of them. A lot of people think that they're so confident, they're so self-assured. It's this big facade. And the truth of the matter is they're the most insecure people. They're very scarcity-minded people. They're, they're very sad people inside in a lot of ways, but they're never going to admit that to you. What they do is they try to get supply in any way that they can. The way I like to describe it is that there's a couple of different tiers of supply. So there's what I call diamond level supply, and there's what I call coal level supply. So this diamond level supply is what I call the best form of supply, the, the image. It's, it's all about what the window dressing, what things look like on the outside, okay? So how they look to the world and they will protect and defend that at any cost. It's how they look at work, how they look to the people that mean something the most to them. That is a key factor when you are dealing with a narcissist. You got to understand that whether it's in your personal life or your professional life, because they will protect that at any cost. That is what makes them tick more than anything. And then there's something called coal level supply, what I call coal level supply. And that is manipulating people. That's driving them crazy. That's seeing them squirm. It could be passive aggression. It could be smearing people. It's pushing people down to make themselves feel better about themselves. Okay. They want all of it, but they will let go of that coal level supply if they have to, but only if that diamond level supply is threatened. They thrive on that diamond level supply. They thrive on adulation. They thrive on praise. But if you let that go, then, then they, they will almost trade that for that manipulation, for that coal level supply. They want it all. So most people think narcissists just want to win, or maybe they just want money or whatever that is. That is totally false. That really is just a myth. They want both. They want to be able to win. They want to be able to beat you. Also want to be able to manipulate you, jerk you around, control you. They want all of that. It's complex in a way, but it's also very easy in a way. It's rooted in their deep seated insecurities, their need for validation. So one of the things is this need for self-importance, their need for praise. So if you're in a romantic relationship, for example, they start off by making you feel like you're the most special person in the world, but it's really only because they want 
it in return. It's to kind of build you up so that you're going to give that back in return. And as soon as you stop feeding their ego, you're going to be done anyway. I mean, because you've got to meet this unrealistic expectation that they're going to meet, they're going to have up here, and they're going to resort to these manipulation tactics, ghosting, discard, all of these things to keep you on your toes so that you can keep feeding that ego for them, keep driving their insatiable need for attention in any possible way that they can get it from you to keep driving the attention back to them in any way possible. At work, it's the same kind of a thing. They need attention, whether it's from superiors, from colleagues, from people who work under them. They've got to be seen as the best. They've got to be seen as the brightest. They will undermine coworkers. They will take credit for other people's work. They will manipulate situations to be perceived as superior, whether it's ill-gotten or not. They don't care. Their motivation lies in being indispensable, even at the expense of others. And if you agree with me, put agree in the comments below. And I would also love to see you know, what you guys have had, what your situations have been, what your experiences have been, share in the comments. It's important to recognize that behind the facade of this confidence, of this boasting, of this bragging, if it's a covert narcissist, it might be, I'm always the victim, or I can never get my way, or nobody ever recognizes me. Whatever type of narcissist you're dealing with, that it's this fragile ego that you're dealing with, that they fear rejection the most, and abandonment the most, that's the worst thing that you can possibly do with them. And it drives their constant need for validation. If you are dealing with a narcissist and you're dealing with them in a negotiation setting, grab my free crush my negotiation prep worksheet. You can get that at winmynegotiation.com. It's a free 15 page e-booklet. I totally recommend that you get that winmynegotiation.com. Totally effective for uh, phrases, for disarming narcissists, strategies for disarming narcissists. You can get that there. The link is also in the description below. Another key way that you can understand the narcissist motivations what makes them tick is their relentless pursuit of power. They need power. They need control. That is another huge thing that makes them tick. They have to see themselves as superior. They have to believe that they are entitled. They know that they are entitled. They feel that they are entitled. They feel that they are superior. They feel that they should have special privileges. They exert their control over everyone in any way that they possibly can in family dynamics in work dynamics they leave people feeling like they're suffocated a lot of times their individuality is not allowed or they put people down they may mock people they may just express disdain you know, you try to start a new business, well, that'll never work, well, that's kind of a stupid idea, or whatever it is. They have to have a control at all times. If it's a workplace setting, they create a toxic environment. It has to be driven by fear. It has to be driven by insecurity. You know, they have to micromanage people. They can't foster a culture of independence, of abundance, because they don't believe in that. They're afraid. It's it's insecurity. It's fear. It's all fear-based. That's just the type of person that they are. They catch people in their webs and, and they want to hold tightly to them. And so that's what makes them tick. Understanding these motivations is the first step in your freedom, in your power, in your journey to possibility, to purpose to breathing again. And believe me, I know 
I know at the deepest level of your core. If you need extra support, join my free private Facebook group, Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Zung, by the way, because you do need support. You do need to have help. You do need to make sure that you are not doing this alone because this is not a journey that you, you can take alone. You do need to have people who are there providing support for you. Make sure that you are getting the help and support that you need, okay? And recognizing their underlying securities, insecurities is so important to, to you in setting boundaries and starting to take that step one. When I say step one, don't run. Protecting your peace and starting to observe them and, and not absorbing and understanding these manipulation tactics. If you like this video, give it a like, give it a share so that other people can start to get access to this information. Make sure that you have subscribed and hit that notification bell. Remember that knowledge is power and arming ourselves with this is the first step to understanding this and navigating these high conflict personalities and these high conflict situations with confidence, with ease and starting to grow past it and learn wherever you are is the jumping off point. Okay. It's never too late. So the, the next video that I want you to watch is the top five mind games that narcissists play because understanding that will help you to understand what makes them tick as well. So I'm going to see you in that next video. But before you go, I want you to know that today's a great day to start negotiating your best life. And I will see you in that next video. Shopify helps millions sell billions around the world through their digital courses, through their digital products at the touch of a button on their smartphones, on social media, however they want, including me at shop.rebeccazung.com. You can access your store from all over the world, just the touch of a button from your smartphones, start accepting payments, everything you need to sell online, manage orders and develop relationships in one place and look fabulous doing it. Shopify is the commerce platform that is revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide, including my own at shop.rebeccazung.com. So right now, what you need to do is sign up for a $1 a month trial period at shopify.com slash best life, all lowercase, go to shopify.com slash best life to take your retail business to the next level today, shopify.com slash best best life. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. If you're feeling totally drained right now because energy vampires have got you down, sucked the life out of you, I get it. I've been so where you are. And I can tell you that therapy has been one of the best gifts I've ever given myself during the worst times of my life. It has taught me how to love myself again so that I can set the boundaries I need to so that I can feel like myself again. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, I encourage you to give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's convenient. It's flexible. You can suit it to your own schedule. You just fill out a brief questionnaire and you get matched with a therapist. And if you want to switch therapists at any time, you can. So find your sweet spot with BetterHelp. You just visit betterhelp.com slash negotiate today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash negotiate.